All right, hello everyone. Welcome to my uh, structure analysis tutorial session. Today I'm going to talk about the uh, continuous concept called stability of the structures. Um, and I will give an example of how can we uh, determine the stability of a structure from a kinematic point of view. Kinematic. Okay, kinematic. Kinematics point of view. Okay, kinematics. Okay. Uh, let's say we have a structure like this. Okay, let's give some. This is point A, and then B, and then C, D, and uh, E. The structure is pin supported at point A, and lower supported at point E. Okay, and there's a hinge at point C. First of all, is the is this structure a stable structure? Okay, first of all, okay, is the structure stable? Of course, no. Okay, no. Okay, why? Okay. You can interpret, you can interpret, it, explain this uh, stability from two approach. One, from uh, counting the, the 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 number of unknown and num number of equations. The number of unknown that we have uh, for this uh, system is uh, three. Okay, three unknowns. Okay, we have two unknown. Okay, we have two. Okay, forces at point A, at A, okay, AX, okay, AX and AY, and also one force at E, okay, let's call it uh, E1, okay, and then uh, but we have uh, four equations, okay, why we have four equation, okay, because for global equation, we global equation we have three global equation, okay, global, okay, equation, okay, summation f x, summation f y, and take a moment a point for example a, okay, and we have also at one additional joint at c, okay, joint c is hinge. So if I cut this point. I don't have moment, okay. If I think more at this point, it is or uh, I will have a uh, one uh, additional equation from this uh, free body diagram, okay. The second methods we can use is called kinematic methods, okay. Kinematics, okay. So today I will talk, focus on this approach. So how can we, uh, first of all, uh, how can we just justify that this structure is unstable? We need to know that this is a uh, two body system, okay. Two body system rigid body system rigid body system why because we have a hinge here basically a b c is one rigid system and c d e is another rigid system for two body system okay let's say we have a two body system let randomly draw something okay and uh, here also and uh, there is a hinge here okay suppose that okay for body one the, the for body one this body one okay the center of rotation is somewhere around here okay and then uh if i connect this point if this system is unstable it means that this point can rotate right can move it perpendicular to this to this line right if this can be happen it means that the center of rotation of second body two must lie on somewhere around this line. Okay, it could be here, it could be outside here, it could be here, whatever. Okay, so something like this. Okay, why? If the center of rotation of O two is somewhere around here, okay, let's say somewhere around here. Okay, if I connect these two points, if this is the center of rotation, okay, then this point will move in this direction, which contradict with the movement from. O one okay so if a two body system is unstable the condition is that okay O one the connection point the hinge and O two form a straight line okay O one uh, the connection point let's call it C connection point okay and O two form a straight line. Alright, 
let's go back to our question. This is a six meter and then five meter, one, one, and then three meter, and then this is four meter. Okay, I just make some numbers so that it become beautiful. This is five. Okay, and this num, the length of AB is a uh, six square plus five square, and then take the square root. This seven point eight one. Right. So um, you can see that this is one body, right? Okay, and this is another second body. First of all, we, know, we need to know that A1 cannot move. So, but it can rotate, right? Because it is, it is a pin supported. So it means that point A, okay, point A is one center of rotation of uh, beam ABC, okay? P, for for uh, point E, because E is a roller support, okay? It means that it is free it is free to move horizontally. Okay, it means that the center of rotation must be somewhere. Must be somewhere. Okay, pass through. Okay, perpendicular. Uh, pass through E and perpendicular to this movement. Okay, any point on this line, line on this line, can be a potential. Okay, center of rotation at of point E. Okay, so if we follow this logic, okay. Connect point O and the uh and the connection point the hinge is that draw a line from here. Okay. Okay. We see that okay. O two is here okay. O two, O one and C form a straight line. So this 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 structure, okay, is unstable. Again, okay. I need to remind you that. The stability of the structure is nothing with, to do with the loading, okay? It's nothing to do with the loading, okay? It's unstable because uh, the system can rotate, okay? It's free to move, okay? The movement, okay, the point C should something like this, okay? Something like this, okay? Let's say, let's say, let's say, uh, let me erase this first. Let me erase this first. <coughs> okay. Let's say point E, okay, move one mm. Okay. Uh, how will the structure rotate or move? Okay. First of all, we need to uh from the geometrical relationship, this is a straight line. O one and O one O two is a straight line. Okay. So we know that this is three. So this is four. From geometrical relation, we can find out that this is ten. With ten, okay, and then uh, we can see that this is uh, let's say this is called a, okay, and then uh, a divided by a plus six is equal to three or four divided by ten, okay, because from similar triangle we know that this relationship. And then uh, we, from this we will find that a is equal to four. Okay, for me four meter. Okay, this is four. So this is four four, and then this is four square of two, which is uh five point something, five point six six meter. Okay, and this this is equal to C O two. Okay, I mean C N. O2 rotation center of rotation of O2. Okay, let's say this move by one millimeter. It means that O2, okay, rotate about uh one divided by four thousand. Okay, oh no, eight thousand. I'm sorry, eight thousand. So this is zero point one two five times ten to the minus of three radius. It's a very, very small angle, and uh, point D, point D, because point D is part of the O2, I mean we will rotate about O2, so the movement will perpendicular to this, okay, we need to find the distance of DO2 first, distance of DO2 is 5, okay, so the movement is uh, 5, times uh, 0 0.125 so 
the length, the displacement on your is 0 0.625. Okay? How about point C? Oh, by the way, this is MM. So point C is this straightforward times 0 0.125. Okay, it's 0 0.71. Okay, 0 0.71. Zero point seven one millimeter, and then point B will also move. Okay, point B this time will move with respect to O one because point because A B C uh, is part of uh, part of the structure. Okay, of uh, and O one is the is the corresponding center position. Okay, first of all we need to know we need to find out uh, how much. Okay. O1 is rotated. Okay, how do we find this? Because we know that this is 0 0.7, this is equal to 0 0.7 divided by AC. The length AC is nothing but 6 square plus 6 square and square root. Okay, 6 squares. And then AC is 8.49 meter. So this is 8. 9 times 10 to the minus 3 is equal to, I mean this is rotation of point A, this is nothing but 0 0.084 Okay, so this movement, this movement is uh, 7.81 times answer is 0.65 mm. Okay, so this is the uh, how the structure will move. So overall, okay, because this is too messy, okay, I, I already prepared the answer for you, and uh, let me see the answer is here. Okay. So this is the answer. Okay. Uh, this is one mm, and uh, this distance is a uh, 0.625. Let me write it down. I, so I'm sorry. Uh, this is z 0.625. And then this is 0 0.71, I, I, I think so, 0 0.71, okay. And then this is 0 0.65, okay. So this is how the structure will take. And uh, thank you very much, thanks for watching. And uh, if you like my video, feel free to press a like. Thank you.